Richard Southern joins us now to chat about the day's top business story. Hi, Richard. Hi, Tina. We're working on our tan out here today, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> We're in direct sunlight. It's Lovely. great. <laughs> and let's start with a highly anticipated product from Apple. Will this be the bright spot uh, for Apple this year? Big Will new product. It? Big okay. new product coming. Apple glasses, Tina. This oh. is something that's been rumored for years. Yep. Apple's reportedly been working for seven years on augmented reality goggles. Bloomberg News Today reports they are coming out this year. Save your pennies, though, Tina. $3,000 a pair. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> what they're reportedly going to cost. Okay, so not a lot of people are going to get these. No, no. Uh, no, it's going to be for the, the haves, yeah. uh, not the have-nots. Uh, the high-tech specs will be revealed by Tim Cook, the Apple CEO, at the company's Worldwide Developers Conference on June 5th. Um, Bloomberg News, though, reports that they are more of a ski goggle-type design, like some of the other models already on the market. Uh, they are still, though, designed to be worn almost continuously throughout the day, replacing tasks like making FaceTime calls, replying to emails, playing video games and browsing the web, things of course you usually do on your phone or your computer. It's going to be powered by an iPhone sized battery pack connected to the glasses by a cord. So it's not going to be like the most it's not very easy. stylish. No. no. We don't know exactly what they look like, but it doesn't sound like they're very but stylish. But you know in like 10 years when it's more affordable and they make it more stylish, we're all going to be wearing these glasses. You think people ignore you now when they're looking at their phone? I could be looking at you and then replying to my email while I'm looking at you. You don't even know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Crazy. Not a great thing. All right. Well, a new version of one of the world's most popular and controversial video games could be coming soon, Richard. Grand Theft Auto, the video game, moved financial markets today because we kind of got an inkling of when the new version, GTA 6, is coming out. Video game publisher Take-Two Interactive posted their earnings last night, and they said, um, hey, they said, by the way, we expect uh, revenue of $8 billion in early 2015 and everyone thought what on earth could bring that type of revenue oh we know gta 6 could so the thinking now is that gta 6 will come out in late 2024 in time for christmas creating a big financial windfall for this company early the next year the grand theft auto series has been wildly successful the last version in 2013 has sold 180 million copies and counting it's the second most popular video game ever after minecraft oh wow Interesting. I only play very innocent video games. I like flip burgers and make sushi and stuff. This is far from innocent GTA. <laughs> I know nothing about this game. <laughs> All right. It's always wise to save a little money for dessert, but $6,000 sounds a little much, doesn't it? Uh, for ice cream, it certainly does. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's what you'll have to pay if you that's want to scoop That's double the price of the glasses. <laughs> you can get two Apple glasses for this. Japanese ice cream company uh, being recognized from Guinness World Records for having the most expensive ice cream. 6600 bucks a scoop. Uh, it includes like a lot of rare white truffles, if that's your thing. Okay. It's also a lot of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano in this. Mm. In this, it tastes as rich as it costs. I think, Tina. <laughs> There's no way it tastes six thousand dollars good. Well, like you listen. If you want to, you know, splash out some cash on something ridiculous, you go get the most expensive ice cream in the world. Forget <laughs> the apple glasses. Ridiculous. That's true.